Tell us about where we're going. Yes, this is the winery. Uh, you know, it's a bit too good, big now, but uh, the truth, we start with uh, 3,000 bottles. Today we're making about 300,000. About, 300, about 100 times more. Yeah, but uh, 13 years ago, I, we started the winery, only 3,000 bottles. It was for a hobby. I, I never thought that it's going to be like a winery like today. 300,000 bottles yes. now. Amazing. And you're winning international competitions around the world. And, and incredible things are happening. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, when, when we start, I remember that all the export say winery, wine in Israel, and specifically, especially in your location, it's not going to happen. You're wasting your time. 2004, we sent our wines, our first wine to wine competition in France, Vinali, in Paris, and we got a gold medal. And this was early on. This is only after you guys were open for about a year. Some people call it magic, but we, I really believe that it's, it, it's such a thing. Because if you ask me, Yaakov, what is the special thing you're doing here? I mean, what's the difference between your winemaking to, I don't know, uh, winemaking in Paris, in France, in, in, in Napa Valley, whatever? And the truth, there is no, it's not high tech. I'm not doing anything special. But we believe it's a, that we have a blessing here. For 2000 years, those lands have been empty with no grapes, actually no body. So this is, yeah, this is unbelievable. Yeah, you're in God's land on the mountains of Israel and he is blessing your work here at Sagot Winery Yaakov. So, man, what do we have here? This is my first time actually touring a winery. So this is exciting. In the beginning, we have the grapes. You know, we're starting in Israel. The, the harvest time, it's about August, September. We're getting the grapes and we start the fermentation process. The fermentation process happened in those stainless steel tanks. Okay, it's stainless steel tanks. It's, we can control the temperature, we can control everything. And so this is the beginning. So what do we have out here? This is also a stainless steel tank that we keep the wine only in the fermentation process and when we want to make the blends, to blend the wine, to make the, the final type of wine, if we have Cabernet Sauvignon, if you have Merlot, all our wines staying in oak barrels for a year, year and a half. Wow. And let's go and take a look on the, on, the, on the barrel room. It amazes me, Yaakov, that this started for you as a hobby. How did you learn all the technical aspects of how to make wine? If I will tell you, I need to kill you. Yeah. Like, so, you know, it's a... Uh, you can't reveal your exactly, secrets. Exactly, exactly. But you're welcome. So welcome to our bar room. Wow. Uh, here we have about 400 barrels. It's everything, it's oak made in France. I start with six or seven barrels. Now we have more than 400, yes. And it's there for between a year to a year and a half. Okay. And 300,000 per year, Yakov, are going out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, how amazing is that? So any, what goes into this? I mean, basically you store the barrels here. Uh, you have to have humidity in here as well, and yes. there's certain temperature, yes, yes, I guess. We have certain temperature and humidity and, and a lot of different stuff. And of course, we're trying, we're tasting the wine. We see how it develops in the barrels, if there is any problem, if we need to do something. So yes, this is... This is a this is the whole uh, you know job to, to know it's how to treat the wine. Exactly. Tell me about your team here, Yaakov. How big is your team here at Sago Winery? First of all, we have the harvest. We need the grapes, the material. So for the in the harvest time, it's unbelievable. But in the last ten years already, we have a group of Christians from all over the world, mainly from United States, Canada, but from all over the world, and the, that they coming to Israel about They're 400. Volunteering. They're volunteering. They don't accept from us anything. They say, we don't want, I mean, nothing. We come with everything. They supply themselves with everything and they want only to touch the land, to do something. This is unbelievable. And, and I must say that I think the most interesting thing in wine that I found out is that wine can connect people together. Because if you think about it, what is the chance that in a winery in Israel, here where we're located in the, some people call it West Bank. This we'll is have, illegally occupied. We will have Christians coming from far away from here. They're leaving everything, they're leaving their job and they want to participate, they want to touch the land, they want to do something for, for the land, for Israel. And this is unbelievable. For me, it's every time that I see it, I don't believe that it's, that it really exists. Yeah, this is not by coincidence and only 
Only the God of Israel, Yaakov, could make this happen, and he's using wine to do it. Pretty amazing thing. I think that if you will ask my parents, not uh, far away, just if they believe that their son are going to own a winery and the vineyard in Israel, they will never believe you. Because I born in Russia, I came to Israel when I was three years old. We need to wait six years until the Russians, in these days, you know, the KGB let us leave the country. This was and we Soviet, came with nothing. Soviet, Soviet Union. Union. We came with nothing. We came with our pants and that's it. We couldn't, you know, take anything from there. Uh, so really, if you ask my parents, do you believe that your son, they will never believe. You know, from one side, my, par my, my grandparents came from the Holocaust, from the other side, from Russia. So, you know, many people asking uh, me, Yaakov, it's not difficult. Is it, in, is it complicated? Is it, you know, uh, we heard about Israel and, and I'm asking, this is complicated? This is difficult? I think we have really the best life that we can ever imagine and, and, and ask for. In your ancestral homeland? Yes. Doesn't get no much doubt. better. No doubt. The whole idea is to keep the wine, you know, natural and for a long time. Yeah. So it puts some gas to avoid the, the oxidant. Okay. And we put the wine, we put the cork, and from here it depends when, but we can uh, put the labels also and uh, it will be ready for shipping. And the guys are working hard here, by the way. We yes. appreciate yes. them yes. letting us hard. film. They're working hard, they're serious. It's a serious business. But because we are, it's a boutique winery, so we don't do it every day. Oh, we you do don't it, do it every day? No, no, we do it four, five, eight weeks in a year, the battling, and that's it, so wow. yes. So we're coming at a very crucial season yes. for you, for Segura Winery. Yes. Wow, and these bottles will go out not only here in Israel, but... No, 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 mainly yeah. our main market is United States. Main market is yes. United main, States. Yeah, main market is United wow. States. About 50% of our production is for the United States. How do you get the word out? We're gonna get the word out here on The Watchman. How do you get the word out? How are all these people in the United States discovering your great wines? First of all, in wine, people are looking for something new, yeah. from something that they've never heard about. Right. So, so this is a very important part. Uh, and second, I think now people want to be connected to Israel. Yeah. Wine and yeah. the Bible, we believe that wine is a very spiritual thing. Yeah. And, but we're going to talk about it in the, in the vineyard. We will, let's do it. This is a taste of Israel for every American. It's a great exactly. thing. Let's go, Yaka. Coming up, the Bible comes to life as we go inside a 2,500-year-old cave that is once again in use at Sagot Winery. Don't move.